congratulations, Paul. That feels like a win after such uh, difficult circumstances. What's your take on today's debacle? <laughs> debacle? It's a strong word, yes. James. Um, yeah, interesting game. Obviously, we had a game plan when we set up and then it's thrown straight out of the window when Jono gets sent off. Um, How long have gone? Two, three? Yeah. I don't know. I don't, it, seemed, it seemed very quick. Um, he's won a free kick, I think. Or, no, he's passed the ball on and then the lad's holding him and he's shrugged him off and caught him in the mouth. Referees said he's elbowed him, sent him off. Um, so, yeah, unfortunate start. We're down to 10 men, so we've had to rejig a little bit. But to be fair to a lot of players, they absolutely dug in and I was I was pleased to get to about 20 minutes yeah, without conceding. But then, you know, we've, we've, we've given two goals mm. uh, by getting caught in possession, trying to play from in poor areas. Yeah. You know, classes held his hands up, got caught for the first one. And then between a few of them, I think they've been caught for the second one, um, which was, was annoying really. And I think tempers were getting a bit frayed at that stage because I was getting wound up because we've given two goals. Mm. To be fair, the, the lad who scored the first goal, it was a great finish. Cool but we, we gifted him the ball yeah. and it was a lovely finish from him um, but they didn't they didn't really threaten us a great deal and I thought we were always comfortable and we got in at half time and we had a good think about it and Mikey had, had, a, had a style how to stop them from playing out which which worked very well Josh Josh and Tomo were outstanding the second half the energy levels considering some of them have played 120 minutes on Wednesday yeah. um, and I just thought second half we absolutely Bossed the game, you know, with ten men. Mm -hmm. Their so, fans did as well. Their fans did. They thought they were going to get beat. Did they? Mm. Yeah. You know, it was, it was good. And I just said to them all at half time. I says, look, the next goal's crucial. If we get it, we'll have a go. Mm -hmm. I says, if we go three nil down, we're not going to have a brig house like last year and 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 get done eight. So we'll just shut up shop if we go three nil down. But if we go two one, we'll have a go for it. You know, it's yeah. No point. We've gone for every other game this season and. And to be fair, outstanding some of the performances. The work rate was unbelievable. And you'd have thought we'd have had 11 against 10, never mind yeah. us with 10 men. So a great goal from Josh Green, is, Green in to get us back in the game. Yeah, he gets that goal and we're in the ascendancy and I'm thinking we'll, we'll go on and get another goal here. But then all the commotion started, you know, which is a disgrace what was going on with the fans. It was, it was awful to watch and witness and... It slowed the game down and I was thinking, we were on top at that yeah, point this though, is going to work against us here because mm -hmm. we were just getting on top and I felt another goal was going to come. Um, so I thought this could just disrupt everything. But as it was, you know, the game sort of calmed down again and then going into the last five minutes, we made a few changes um, because lads were getting tired. Josh Barrett was getting a bit tired. who worked extremely hard up front. So I put Callum on and won a few free kicks straight away. Mm -hmm. Uh, which he, he generally does, um, and then young Milne pops up with one. So uh, you know, lethal left foot. Lethal left foot. He sat up now. You know, he's, he's he's had that desire to go yeah. and get a goal, and and it was outstanding. Was Milne, and he's he's brought well, he's brought it down. And it's bounced up, and he's he's smashed it in with left peg. So it's a great jubilation from the bench and from the crowd. There was a massive crowd here today, and everybody was baying for our blood at half time. But in the end, we've we've shown loads and loads of character and, and got a fair draw. What does it say about your, your team and your squad? I've just said to you know said to them all that's like a win, but it just shows we can we can win every way possible in football. You know we've won from ten men down, we've won won with eleven men passing teams off the field, uh, we've won when we haven't played so well by digging in, and and again today we've we've dug in, we've we've been a bit. Crude at times in the first half. We we, we put a few tackles in, which oh, one of the prettiest. I think frustration else. because you know you know as well as I do, Jimmy. We're not that type of team. We try no. and play football, and they were sort of having a go at us. And I think it spurred us on. We I was getting excited, and the fans were, and and I, I'm glad half time came when it came because we were able to get everybody in and calm calm them down. But we knew if we got a goal, we'd get something from the game. Yeah, I don't think we've failed to score in any game, have we, this season? Only spending more in the FA Cup, but yeah, apart from that, that we won't count that one now. Uh, apart from that, we've we've scored in every game, and a brilliant goal from Josh. You know, who's due one. He scored three last time he was here, so um, excellent finish. And and then obviously Milne pops up with the win, the equaliser, but it's like a winner. Absolutely, you know, it must yeah. feel like a, 
a loss for them and a win for us going yeah. into next week. So. Well done, Paul. Congratulations. That's a great game. Thanks, great mate. Result. Well done. Cheers, Jimmy.